Hey, what's happening out there, everybody? My name is Hayden Adams with A Designer Who Codes. In today's tutorial, I wanna talk about how to use the Gatsby plugin Google Analytics. I wanna show you how I use it in my site. I have mine right here, adesignerwhocodes.com, single page website. And I also have it working because it shows in my tracking ID in Google Analytics that there is one active user, including one from traffic or from test traffic. And I did that, I clicked the button, it came up, and a double check, I'll refresh it one more time. And hopefully it shows, yep, one active user right now. So I wanna show you how I have it set up in my site and how it works for you going forward to implement the Gatsby plugin Google Analytics in Gatsby JS. And with that, let's get started. All right, welcome back. Once again, my name is Hayden Adams with A Designer Who Codes, and this is all about teaching good design and web practices through code online. So in today's tutorial, I'm focusing on Gatsby JS, one of my favorite tools to build websites with, and I want to install Google Analytics. Well, thankfully, Gatsby provides us with this fantastic plugin. The first thing I want to do is head over to gatsbyjs.org slash packages slash gatsby dash plugin dash google dot analytics, or you can always just Google that and it comes right up. So I have the Gatsby plugin Google Analytics sitting right here in front of me. And the first step is to save the actual plugin information. So I can copy this information. And I've already installed it once, but what the heck, I'll install it again. I use Yarn for my project. So I'm gonna say Yarn add, and then add the Gatsby plugin. I must have added an NPM somewhere because it says that there's mixed packages. It does happen on occasion. Maybe I did click NPM. I'm not quite sure. Anyways, first step is to install the analytics. The second part is to add it to your Gatsby config. Now keep in mind, you can add any plugin as long as it says Gatsby beforehand inside of your Gatsby config. So if you have anything else inside of your plugins, you'll notice it probably says Gatsby before as those are our official plugins. It's probably gonna be a lot of error messages or at least warnings because I probably did it once before, but you know what, what the heck, let's just have it do it once one more time. And I'm gonna pause this video and come back when it's finished. All right, I am back. Uh, that took longer than I thought. Uh, it was done in 123 seconds. Uh, I kind of laugh sometimes because I love that they give us this number, like am I supposed to record it? And maybe in your comments, if you're watching this, you can tell me why this is very important. For me, I'm like, hey, I just went and got a cup of coffee, paused the video and came back and it was done. But it took a little while, more, a little bit longer than I thought. So anyways, I am back. So now that I have installed the plugin, the next thing I wanna do is I wanna add the Gatsby plugin Google Analytics. And they give you a lot of options. Here's the thing, because this will not work unless it's set at the very, very top of the plugins list. I didn't know this and I spent about half a day researching it and thankfully someone on Stack Overflow did post this information prior. So I wanna show you how I have mine set up so I can show you how it works. So if I come over to VS Code, this is my site. It is Designer Who Codes in Gatsby Config that I have it right after my plugins. I have the resolve being the Gatsby plugin Google Analytics. I have my tracking ID. And here's the thing also, make sure you set the head to true. If you note inside the documentation, it is set by default to false. False will not work, at least for me it didn't. So when you add your Google Analytics, make sure you set the head to true. I also saw someone on Stack Overflow add anonymize equals true, and that I haven't seen it work otherwise, so I kept mine being true. So the three things you wanna have are your tracking ID, which mine is this one right here. You're welcome to use it, but you can't get much data out of it. Uh, the head, true, and anonymize, true. From here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a Gatsby build and I upload my site. 
And that's how you can install your uh, your Google Gatsby. <laughs> that's how you can install your Gatsby plugin Google. And the results are if I come back into Safari, or I had it before, the important part is in your tracking code. So if you're new to Google Analytics, once you set up a site, you can go back under admin and under the property, you can go under tracking information and tracking code. And in here, you can pull that tracking ID. Yes, you cannot use these little bits of information within React slash Gatsby. We have to then go and use that Gatsby plugin for it to work. And if I click on send users, this one probably timed out or something. If I refresh the page, it'll show me, maybe, there we go that I have one active users right now. So just as once more review, we have the Gatsby plugin Google Linux as the first plugin, and I have my tracking ID, my head set to true, and anonymize set to true. And that's how you could install Google Analytics to work with your Gatsby project.